Hello, hello, hello. Your friend Catherine's. Hey Beth, my goodness, how are you? Hi, I haven't seen you in forever. Hey Kelly, how are you? So excited to see you guys. Hey Vern, my goodness, I haven't seen most of my favorite people. I have been taking a little break and it's good to be back. It's good to see you, my goodness. This is awesome. Elle, past your bedtime. <laughs> Why are you earlier than me? How is this past your bedtime? But you do get up super early. So good to see you here, Kelly. I'm sipping my chai. Nice to see you guys. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. Watch the replay um, for sure. Hey, Dan, thank you for being here. Um, I'm really prepping for my, for my TEDx talk, and it's been really awesome. I'm getting all these awesome nuggets. You have a good night, my friend. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. I'm loving your scopes, by the way. I'm loving the, uh, the vulnerability and how deep you're going in the morning. Really awesome. Really, really awesome. Thank you guys for being here. Um, hoping that everybody else files in. Um, share with your followers if you just got here. See the little Perry guy. Make sure that you click share and we'll get started. If you're new to my scopes and uh, you haven't seen me in a while, maybe, my name is Catherine Storing and I usually scope about fashion, style, and confidence. And as I took some time off for the holidays, I'm kind of grouping, coming back really excited about what I'm doing for my TEDx talk. And I figure, you know what? Let me share this with my friends. Let me share this with my friends from uh, from Periscope and then see what happens. So it's lovely to have you here. Thank you so much for being here. Again, uh, if you click on the little Perry guy, you will be able to share by swiping left to right, clicking on the guy, swiping left to right, or swiping up. You will be able to invite your friends on Facebook, on Twitter and here on Periscope as well, which is super, super awesome. So, hey, Roll, uh, Raul, oh, Roll, thank you so much for being here. Excited that you're here. Um, getting myself ex uh, ready here. Hey, how are you? I don't know if I'm saying your name right. I usually say Raul, but I know some people don't. So, thank you so much for being here. Glad that you guys are here. While we wait for everybody else to get here, I'll tell you a little bit about myself and who I am. Um, I, As you see the title, I am prepping for my first tennis talk. I'm so excited about that. I am a two-time best-selling published author. I'm very, very proud of that. That happened last year. Thank you so much, my friend, for inviting your, uh, your followers. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. So I am an author, I am a speaker. I am gonna be adding very, very soon TEDx speaker. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Very, very exciting stuff. And thank you for sharing with your followers. And um, I'm, a I'm a coach. I'm, I coach people on a regular basis. Uh, I'm a fashion stylist and I was able to marry the two, which is so exciting. Thank you, thank you so much. I was able to marry my two passions because I realized that I couldn't do one without the other. I was trying to do fashion styling without the confidence building and I realized that that was not working so I had to marry the two. Hey uh, Nash, thank you for coming here. Thank you for, for joining us. So that's right, Raul. So I really had to combine the two and it has made a big difference in my life and the life of my clients. Thank you. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I, I discovered, that I had to do the two together and now they are so powerful. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the hearts. And usually I'm here earlier and that's why my regulars are not here and I don't know if the... Um, the notification went out so I'm gonna check real quick to make sure that he has uh, because I want them to come in and uh, listen to this uh, awesome yes I can see it now it's awesome I love I love the whole thing with with Twitter now where they actually you can watch it on Twitter it's so awesome because it's animated it's super cool so as I'm prepping for my TEDx talk, um, God has been giving me some amazing things, some really awesome stuff to put it together. I only have 10 minutes. I only have 10 minutes to develop my story, my talk, and hopefully share what I think, hopefully. Hopefully be able to share uh, something that will inspire someone. That's the whole idea of a TEDx talk. So it's nerve wracking and exciting all at the same time. But as I prepare, and I will be sharing with people, hey, Natural Brown Beauty, thank you for being here. As I prepare for the TEDx talk, I will be sharing and getting ready with everyone. Hey, Wendy, we haven't started yet, so it's really awesome. Thank you for being here. 
Um, as I prepare for the Telex talk, I will be sharing with you guys as I put it together. And at the same time, I will do a dry rehearsal with you guys. So you will be able to see the talk before I give it. Hey, Wilma, nice to see you. I will try my best to have someone scope it from my phone. My sister and my friends will be there. Um, Oh my goodness, how are you, Latasha? This is so exciting. Thank you for being here. Hey, uh, Whitman, um, Abel, thank you so much, guys. As you're filing in, do me a favor, click on the Perry Guy and invite your followers because I'm sharing something that is so important. I'm sharing something that I hope is gonna help a lot of people. And um, as I'm coaching people through things and I see things come up and I prepare for my talk, um, these things are coming up and I'm so excited about that. Oh, you got the red hair for the, uh, for the hair. Awesome. Thank you so much, Wilma. I so appreciate that. Thank you. Yes. A lot of red hair. I love the red hair, uh, the red hearts. Thank you so much. So I'm preparing for my TEDx talk and I can give you, I think, I don't know if I can give you the title yet. I don't know. Hey, natural brown beauties. I don't know that I can give you the title. I'll find out when I have my first meeting with them next, uh, this week. But I'm a, I'm a fashion stylist. I'm a confidence building coach. So the talk is going to be around beauty, real beauty, and confidence. Because hello, that's what I want to do. Hello, my friend. I don't know what your name is because your title can doesn't tell me. But tell me, welcome to be here. You're the uh, purple person, pur purple hearts. Thank you so much. Um, if you give me your name, I'll give you a shout out. So welcome. So of course, um, being a fashion stylist and a confidence building coach, I need to talk about real beauty, okay? Because I am very different from many stylists out there. Hey, Quinn Pam, I'm very, very different from all the stylists out there. Even though I'm very fashion forward, I'm very fashion oriented. Oh, Don, hi Don, thank you for being here. Thank you guys, thank you for the hearts. Thank you, Wilma, I appreciate that. I'm very different from all the fashion stylists. Oh, hola, Juanita, thank you, Queen. Queen Pam, nice to see you again. Um, I'm very different in the sense that I don't believe that beauty is skin deep. I don't believe that what you see on the outside, it's all that you are. And that's what I have gotten, my, some of my notes that I got today. I went to the Museum of Fine Arts today for Martin Luther King Day, which is it's just an amazing, very inspirational day. But anyways, I'm there. I'm enjoying myself, having an amazing time. Yes, confidence is beauty. Oh my goodness, Wilma. Yes, <clears throat> absolutely. So I'm sitting there and he dawned on me like somebody is doing their thing and they're, they're sharing their faith in front of a whole bunch of people. It was so amazing. But anyway, I'm sitting there and these people are doing their thing. They're playing music. We have a concert right at the museum and he dawned on me like you really, it was clear as day. We have been trying to fix a problem that has to deal with the inside on the outside. Hi, PH. I'm going to say that. I'm going to let that marinate a little bit. We have been trying to fix a problem that has to deal with the inside, with the outside. I'm going to explain. If you have a beautiful car, I'm going to give, give, hey, thanks, Don and Wilma. I'm going to give you an analogy of a car. You have a beautiful car. Let's say it's my car and the, my dream car is a G-Series Mercedes-Benz. Okay, that's it. And it's bright red. Okay, that's what I want. And I get into an accident, unfortunately, or somebody hits the car and it's a really, really bad shape, like a really, really bad shape. And I decide that all I'm going to do is paint the outside. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do any body work. All I'm going to do is paint the outside. Do you think that that G-Series SUV is going to look like it looked before the accident just because I took care of the outside? Just think about that for a second. Do you think that SUV is going to look the same just because I took care of the outside? It's not. Let me just answer that for you right now. It's not. That SUV, yes, I got to fix the frame. Yes, Wilma, I love you for that. I got to fix the frame. And that's exactly my point that I'm going to try to make in 10 minutes when I do my TEDx talk. You cannot. And trust me, I'm a fashion stylist. I'm. This is coming from a fashion stylist. I love fashion with the passion. But trust me, when you take care of the 
inside first, you are going to be more beautiful. Hey, Real Faith. Yes, I said it. When you take care of your soul, when you take care of your heart, that's the first thing you have to do. That's the first change you have to make. If you want to look beautiful on the outside, you have to take care of the inside first. Greetings, my sister. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for the hearts. This is the perfect time for you to click on the little guy and invite your followers right now. This is the perfect time. We're sharing something important. Don't worry about the numbers. The replays will get will get seen and the right people will see it. So please remember, please remember that if you really want, if you really want to be a beautiful woman or a beautiful man, if you really want people to see how beautiful you are, you have to, you must take care of the inside first. That's right. I tell, I'm, I'm a fashion designer and I tell my clients the same thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey Beth, thank you for coming in. I'm so excited that you guys are here because it's something that is being on my heart and something that I've been wanting to share. And I know that my talk is going to be the perfect time. And to be honest, I'm a little worried because I'm going to come out and I'm going to come out guns blazing and I'm going to be sharing my experience. I'm going to be sharing how I was healed from low self-esteem and no confidence. And the only, the only time that happened is when I was ready to deal with my inside. That's the, that's the only time that I was able to be healed from that was when I had the, I had the, 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 uh, hopefully the grace and I was able to, um, to come to terms with my inside. My inside needed to be changed. That's the day that I stopped being ugly. That's the day that this little dangly little girl grew up and realized that I was fearfully and wonderfully made. Okay. I realized that. My inside change and all of a sudden it's like this ugliness fa fell off. It's like all of a sudden I was the woman that God created me to be. Hey Susie Star, I know you're the Chinese checkers winner six and now you are the Chinese checkers winner extra Christmas. What does that mean? I'm not getting it. Uh, the TEDx talk is going to be, hey, Susie Star, it's, um, it's going to be here in Boston. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to uh, broadcast it. I'm going to try my best. If not, once I get the video, I will share it. It's happening on February 22nd. I'm so excited. Uh, 22nd or 24th? I think it's the 24th, actually. Thank you, Beth. Uh, yeah, I'm so excited. Um, I'm, uh, yep. February 20, oh, that's 2017. I gotta look at the right the right year. Hold on one quick second. Uh, yes, for sure. Awesome sauce. I love that. That is soon. Yes, that's why I'm preparing. Um, Tuesday, that's Monday the 22nd. Yes, Monday the 22nd. Thank you guys for joining. If you're just rolling in, invite your followers. We're just getting started. We're just getting warmed up. You can click on the little man. Keep those hearts uh, going so I know that you can hear me, see me, and hopefully what I'm saying is resonating with you. These words are coming from the words of a fashion stylist. I'm all about making people look good, but from the inside out. That's why I'm also a confidence building coach, and that's why I combine the word of the Bible, okay? I am just going to tell you right now, if you're, if you didn't know this, that's how I coach people. That's how I style people. I combine the knowledge that I have received, the gifts that I have been given with the word of God. That's how I coach people. Hey, poor chopper, my friend, nice to see you. That's the only way I know how to do it. Whenever I try to deviate, I'm going to be honest. Whenever I try to deviate from that formula, it doesn't work. Whenever I try to deviate from that perfect formula, the word of God, the gifts, the gifts that he has given, given me, and then as the last, the fashion knowledge that I have. When I combine all those three things, I'm able to help my clients in a very, very a concise and beautiful way. Yeah. Treat yourself well. Absolutely. Absolutely. I am able to be myself holy. When I try to separate it doesn't work. I'm just gonna, I'm be just being honest right now. The only way that I'm able to do what I was created to do is when I combine my gifts, my knowledge with the word of God. 
when I uh, when I add those three things, hey, Fabric Beauty, nice to see you. When I add those three things, it's amazing. When I add those three things, it flows. It just works. It just works. When I'm able to say, and I have my beautiful Bible here that I love. It's a, my John MacArthur's uh, study Bible. I love this Bible. Of course, it's purple and pink. You guys know that I love me some purple and some pink. Some pink. Hey, um, my friend Chris, how nice to see you. That the, I love this Bible. It's my favorite Bible. I never had um, a, a, um, a Bible case because they were they're always ugly. I don't know if anybody out there designs Bible covers, but please, just because it's a Bible doesn't mean that we want to look like old ladies, okay? We like to have something that is fashionable. So if anybody's watching, please design a Bible cover that is for this century, okay? We like to be styling with our Bible carriers too. So this is my Bible. I love what it says right here. Be still and know that I am God. Yeah, I'm serious. I'm serious. This is my first uh, Bible case because of that. And I love that it's purple and pink. I love the material. It's awesome. But when I'm talking to people, right, when I'm able to say, let's just see who you are. Because remember, the title of the scope, the title of the, of the scope is What Lies Have You Been Believing About Your Looks? Okay. Oh, thank you. I love this case. Thank you so much, my sister. Thank you. I got it um, at Water Life. I love this case. And maybe I'll try to find it and give you guys the link because it's awesome. But when you believe what the world says is beautiful, okay? I got to tell you, if you're not familiar with my story, I want you to go check it out because my story comes from people telling me that I was not beautiful because I, I grew up in a place that I wasn't. Love to intertwine the work. Oh my goodness, yes, me too. Me too, for sure. And so that the world told me that I wasn't. And that the world is telling other women that they're not beautiful either if you don't conform with these very strict rules. So when you believe those lies, because they are lies, when you believe those lies, thank you, my friend, thank you, my brother. When you believe those lies, do you know what happens? You are not believing the truth. And it sounds simple, but it's actually... Think about it for a second. When you believe the lie, you are not believing the truth. When you believe that you're not beautiful, when you pick on your body, and we are so good at that. We are so good at looking at ourselves in the mirror and not liking that face back. And that's what I love about Periscope. As I'm coaching, as I'm talking to you, I see this reflection. And I had to learn to love this reflection. There are many women and men that do not scope because they don't want to see their reflection. They don't want to see their face. They don't love that face. There's something about the face that they don't like. There's something about the way they look that they don't like or appreciate because they have believed the lie. They have believed the lies that they're not beautiful because they don't have this, they don't have that, or because they're too old, or because they're too young, or because their hair is too crazy, or their hair is not crazy enough. Whatever lie you have believed, thank you, my brother. Whatever lie you have believed, about the way that you look. And I'm going to tell you right now what the truth is. I hope you're ready. Type it one if you're ready to believe, to hear the truth about you, about your looks. Let me know if you're ready. Type it one as I drink some of my chai tea. Thank you, sis Susie. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to tell you the truth about your looks. This is going to change your life. It's going to take time. This took time for me, okay? This took time, but when you accept this true, you will not let anyone tell you otherwise. You will not let anyone tell you that you're too fat, that you're too short, that you're too skinny, that you're too bald, that your hair is too big, that your hair is too thin, that your nose is too big, that your nose is too small, that your eyes are too little, that your eyes are too wide, that your lips are too thin, that your lips are too fat, that you have a big butt, that you don't have a butt, that you have short legs or you have long legs. There will always be someone telling you something that is wrong about you, something that you have not nothing to do with, not something that you cannot change. And what happens is that when you don't think you're beautiful, when you don't think that you're handsome, when you don't appreciate how fearfully and wonderfully made you wear, then you look all kinds of crazy. You allow yourself to look all kinds of crazy because you don't value this. You don't value the temple of the Holy Spirit. 
That is the whole premise of why I help mostly women and a few men to look good from the inside out. Because if I was commissioned to take care of this Holy Spirit, this body that is not mine, that is um, in loan for me, it's not even mine. I'm going to have to give an account for the way I take care of this body, the way I present this body to others, how I step out of my house. Okay, how I step out of my house because I never know who I'm going to see, who I'm going to be able to bless, how, who I'm representing, who I'm, re that's right, my sister, who I'm representing, who are you representing? It's not about you. It's not about you. Have you ever thought of that? That your body is not your body and that when you step out of your house every day, you are supposed to be about your father's business? Have you ever thought about that for one second? That when you step out of your house every day, you have to look, you know, does anybody remember what my hashtag is? Does anybody remember what I say all the time? Yes, who are we representing for sure? Who knows what my hashtag is? It's one of my favorite hashtags. He has taken off. People love it. I love it because I know what it means. It's not about the outside. It's not about the outside. Hey, Don, welcome back. It's not about the outside, but it really comes across that way. The hashtag is hashtag all kinds of fine. That's the hashtag. Hashtag all kinds of fine. When you step out of your house, when you go out into the world, if you don't look all kinds of fine, you have to go back into your house. Okay, you just have to. If you don't know how to do that, talk to me. There are plenty of resources. I am more than able, more than ready to help you. But remember, it has to be a change that comes from the inside out. It has to be a change that is lasting and a change that uh, takes place in, in, a whole, in a whole way, in a holistic way, okay? That's the change that has to take place for you to be beautiful on the outside. And that only happens when you're beautiful on the inside first. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense that you have to be beautiful on the inside first before you can even attempt to be beautiful on the outside? Before you can even attempt to do that. Before. Awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you for the hearts, guys. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for inviting your followers. Before I tell you the truth about you, let me remind you again who I am. I am Catherine Storing. I am a speaker. I am a two-time Amazon bestseller author. These are my first two books. I am about to be a TEDx speaker, which is why I'm practicing with you guys the knowledge and the work at the words that God has given me because I'm going to step out and be bold. I'm going to step on that podium and I'm going to say who I am. I'm going to say who I represent and I am just going to talk about beauty. I'm going to challenge the idea of beauty. I'm going to challenge how the world sees beauty and I'm going to tell them the truth. I'm going to tell them the truth about their looks. And maybe I won't get invited again. Maybe that, that will be my last TEDx talk. But if anything, I will be true to the woman that I was created to be. If anything, I will be true to the message that I was given. And that is scary, 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 scary. But I'm going to step on that. And I'm going to trust that God's got me. I'm going to trust that that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it fun. I'm going to make it quick but I'm gonna make it relevant and I'm gonna say what he's telling me to say. And sometimes that's gonna be uncomfortable. Sometimes that's gonna be uncomfortable, but that is what needs to be done and that's what I will do. I'm gonna be obedient. Even when I don't understand, I'm gonna be obedient. So let me tell you the truth about you. Amen, walk bold in the call God gave you. Amen, sister, thank you so much. I'm gonna tell you the truth about your looks. Whether you're a man or a woman, you need to hear this. Thank you, thank you, my sister, I appreciate that. Oh, I think that was done. Thank you, Don. I'm going to tell you the truth about your looks. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready for that. If you haven't invited anyone, this is the perfect time because more people need to hear this. More people need to know the truth about their looks. When you get this and you know the implications of what you have been doing, you're going to stop uh, picking on yourself. You're going to stop telling lies about yourself or accepting lies about yourself. So here is the truth about you coming from my beautiful John MacArthur, awesome, big old Bible that I love. Okay, this is on Psalms 139. This is the truth about your looks. This is going to transform your life from the inside out, and you're going to have to accept this as the truth because it's here. 
you're gonna have to accept this as truth because it's here not because i said it because i did not say it not because i said it but because it's here this is the truth about you and your looks Catherine Storing is not saying it. I am just reading it out loud. So don't 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 shoot the messenger. Although this is actually good news. So I think you're gonna be happy with this news. I am gonna tell you what is true about you. This is Psalms 139. For you formed my inward parts. You cover me in my mother's womb. I praise you, I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Okay? I love that song. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. I can stop right there. Those are the two verses that changed my mind, that changed my life. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret, okay? How awesome is that? Let's just break that down a little bit. Let's just break that down a little bit. You form my inward parts. So we were created on purpose, with a purpose, and even our organs, even our physical organs were created in a, on purpose, on a beautiful way, okay? You cover me in my mother's womb. So after he finished putting you together in an amazing, beautiful way, okay? He covered you, he protected you in your mother's womb because you're that special. That is one of the safest place to be, in your mother's womb. He created that cocoon. He created that special place for you to grow and have a supplement and be kept warm and sleep and have an amazing time with your mother. That's how special you are, okay? Then he says, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Now, fearfully and wonderfully made. How awesome is that? And then he says that marvelous are your works. Now, if we were created by him, and we were, if we believe that, and I do, and he created everything, and marvelous are his works, that means that when I was created, when you were created, we were created in a marvelous way, in a great way, in a beautiful way, and in an amazing way. And then the psalmist goes on to say, marvelous are your works that my soul knows very well. So when you look at creation, when you look at everything that God created, and that includes you and me, my brother and my sister, when you look at everything that he has created and he created everything and everything is fearfully and wonderfully made, and you and I are included in that, and he took all that trouble to create you and to create me, then maybe, just maybe that means that I'm kind of important. Maybe that means that this crazy hair he created for a reason. That these brown eyes that I have are there for a reason. That my long skinny legs that support my body and take me from point A to point B every single day are created that way for a reason. Maybe my arms were created that way for a reason and they are fearfully and wonderfully made, which means that they are perfect as they are because that's how he meant it. That's how he wanted me to look. That's how he wanted you to look. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? If God decided that that's how you were going to look, who is anybody to tell you that you are not fearfully and wonderfully made? Whether they have a fashion magazine, whether they are, they are a clothing designer, whether they are a fashion designer, may, whether they are the authority in fashion, who are they to tell you? that you're not fearfully and wonderfully made and that marvelous are his works. Who are they to tell you that? But the worst part is, why are you believing them? Remember, you gotta take everything from the source. 
You got to take everything from where it comes from. So if they did not create you, if they were not there when you were created in secret, if they were not, if they did not form you in their inward parts, all your inward parts, then why would you believe when they tell you that you're not good enough? When they'll tell you, when they tell you that you're not beautiful enough, when they tell you that the whole beautiful mess that you are, everything that you are. Oh, nice to see you, my sister. Thank you so much. Yes, God's opinion is the only opinion that matters. Absolutely. But we believe the lie, and I believe that lie for more than 20 years. For more than 20 years, I believe that lie. But when I accepted this truth, when I accepted that I am fearfully and wonderfully made and that wonderful IU works, my friends, when I believe that, I'm like, wait a minute, I am kind of like all kinds of fine. When I believe this word, when I believe this right here, I'm like, I'm kind of like a big deal right now. That's what I believe that. If that is true about me, if that is true about me, then that is true about you too then you are kind of a big deal. You are kind of all kinds of fine. Whether you look whatever way you look, whatever happened in your life, if you're missing a limb, if you um, had a child, maybe you lost weight, maybe you gained weight, maybe you had cancer and your body is not the way that it was, it, it, it was you wanted it to be. Yes, the truth will set you free. Maybe something happened to your body, maybe to your face, maybe to your hair, and you're picking on yourself, and you're telling yourself and believing the lies that you are not beautiful, that you are not handsome. Let me tell you right now, that's a lie. Let me tell you something that is going to change your life right now. Type it too if you're ready to hear this truth that is going to change your life right now is going to set you free right now. Type it too when you're ready and I'll share that with you. Type it too. Thank you so much. And I will share that with you. It's going to change your life. It's going to change your life. Awesome. You guys are ready. You ready? If you were meant to look like something else, you would. That's it. My drop right there. If you were meant to look any other way, you would look like that because that that would have been God's will in your life. Oh my gosh, somebody just got free right now. Someone hearing this just got like, boom, free. They're done. They're done. They're like, Catherine, thank you. Holy Spirit, thank you. If I meant to look any other way, you would. But God, in his sovereign wisdom, but God, in his sovereign grace, decided that you, my sister, you, my brother, were supposed to look like that. And let me tell you that you look all kinds of fine. Whatever anybody else is telling you, whatever anybody else is lying to you right now, let me tell you right now that the Bible says, the Bible, and I believe this book, I believe this book from the first page to, from, to the last page. The Bible says that you are fearfully and wonderfully made and that all his works are uh, marvelous. And that means you. That means you. That means me. So that means that you are a big deal. That means that you're all kinds of fine. Can we celebrate that? Can we just take that in and enjoy that and say, mm, that feels good. Can somebody say that? Mm, I needed to hear that. I needed to be reminded that I am important, that I am worth dying for, that you were worth dying for. Do you remember that? Can you just thank God for that and say, oh my goodness, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I was worth dying for. If nothing else, if nothing else, that right there tells you how important you are. That right there lets you know that you are important to God, that you are important. Yes, that feels good. That feels, that just makes my tummy feels good. That just makes my tummy feel all kinds of good by now when I am reminded that I am fearfully and wonderfully made and that I was so important to God that I was worth dying for. That's what his word says right here, that because he loved me so much, he sent his one and only, his one begotten son to die on the cross for me and for you. When you do that, 
that means that I am important. That no matter what anybody else is saying out there, no matter what the magazines look out, out there and show you and show this unrealistic expectation of who I, who I am supposed to be, you look the way that you're supposed to look, the way that God created you, and that's beautiful. My whole point, hopefully, uh, my whole point of this talk that I'm going to give is to open the conversation that we have to rethink. We have to rethink beauty. We have to rethink what beautiful is because beauty, the way it is today, is exclusive. Exclusive. And the Word of God is not anything else but inclusive. If we change the way we look at beauty, we're going to realize that beauty is bigger beauty is wider beauty is different beauty is diverse beauty is weird beauty is different beauty it's like i don't know like that's the other word i can think of beauty is weird you don't have to conform you don't have to you don't have to be in that mold anymore when god created you he didn't make anybody else like you that's right beauty is weird thank you so much for that thank you Beauty is weird and weird it's beautiful because we are all weird. When you think about it, when you get to the bottom of that, beauty is weird. We are weird. So what? That means that I'm unique. That means that I'm different. That means that I am the only person with this accent, with this hair, with this nose, with these eyes, with this body. I like that. I don't know about you. I like being unique. I love that. I love that. I love being weird and different and um, standing out. You know, my slogan is why blend in when you were created to stand out for your mission and your vision. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that liberating and amazing? Isn't that awesome? So when you get the gravity of who, how you were created, who you were created by, then you understand that you have to dress your body accordingly, that you have to treat your body accordingly, that you have to be ready to represent your father anytime, anywhere, anytime, anywhere. I'll say that one more time. When you recognize, when you understand that the Bible says that you're fearfully and wonderfully made, you're not going to show up out to your job, to your business, to church, to a meeting, to Starbucks, anywhere you go, looking all kinds of crazy. You just can't do that because you are representing your father. You are about your father's business every day. Not only on Sunday. Not only on special occasions, not only when you feel like it, you are representing your father every single day. And that means that every single day you have to look, hashtag, all kinds of fine. Every single day. Every si I want you to remember tomorrow. When you're about to get out of your house, when you open that door, I want you to look down and say, do I look all kinds of fine right now? Hey, Philip, nice to see you. <clears throat> yes, sister, every day. I want you to ask yourself, do I look all kinds of fine right now? Is what I'm wearing worthy of my father? That's the question. Forget about fashion. Forget about anybody else. Forget about any of... Thank you, my brother. I appreciate that. I make it a point, guys. I make it a point to look all kinds of fine every day because I am about my father's business. I was created on purpose with a purpose to represent my father every single day. Yes, or oh, hashtag all kinds of fine for sure because I'm on a mission. I'm on mission. Every day, I am on mission. When I'm on Periscope, I'm on mission. When I, go, when I went to the Museum of Fine Arts today, and I'm sitting there and they're playing gospel music in a secular place. I was loving that. I was having an amazing time. And I'm just there minding my own business. That's all I was doing. I was not calling any attention to myself, but only I was enjoying myself. Do you know what happened? I'm just sitting there, okay? 
And today is a holiday. I could have decided to not get myself put together, to not wear this amazing, beautiful necklace and have really cool shoes and have my face done and my hair done. No, I could just decided to just show up like a crazy person. But instead, I knew I was there about my father's business. So I'm sitting there and out of like a hundred people, who do you think they called out? Who do you think they say in... They said, we just, if you look out, if you're for friends on Facebook, you can see the video. It's just hilarious. And I'm, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I'm sitting there minding my own business. And this lady said, I've been paying attention. I always pick someone from the audience that is really paying attention and having a good time. And she is right there writing. I was using my, my notebook because something came to me in the spirit and I needed to write it down. And of course I looked up and it's me and she calls me out. And she asked for my name and I gave her my name. So they sing a song about my name. That's all that is. And they did it like twice. And I had to stand out. Everybody's looking at me. By the time the event ended, they're looking at me. Again, it was a reminder for me. Anytime, at any time, I may be asked to stand out. At any time, someone might point their finger at me and I'm gonna have to stand up and I'm gonna have to say something. And in that moment, I'm not representing myself. In that moment, I'm representing my father. And I have to ask myself, I have to every single day, is what I'm wearing worthy of my father? Is what I'm, wear, is what I'm wearing, wearing worthy of the, the person that created me and formed me in my mother's womb? Every day, ready, yes. Remember, my words for the year is ready and available. Those are my two words for 2016, ready and available. So let me ask you a question. It's a very serious question that I need you to ask yourself every single day. <clears throat> is what you're wearing worthy of your father? Is what you're wearing, is what you're wearing worthy of you saying, I am the daughter I am the son of the most high. You have to ask yourself that at any given moment, at any given moment. Remember, you have to be ready. You have to be available always because at any moment you might be called to represent your father. And if you're not looking all kinds of fine, it's going to be a problem because that might be your only opportunity. What, um, what, um, what expectation of what I, what are they thinking about you? Like what impression are you leaving? Remember you have about 10 seconds to make a good impression. So if you have, you are given one time, one opportunity and you blow it because you don't look all kinds of fine on the inside first, then on the outside. And remember when you look good, you feel good. When you look good, you are more confident. That is a fact that has been scientifically proven. When you look good, when you feel good about yourself, you stand a little taller, you speak a little louder, you are a little more eloquent. You are actually a braver because you know that you look all kinds of fine. Let, tell me that that's not true. Tell me that when you know your hair is fly, when you're looking all kinds of good, tell me that you don't feel a little better. Tell me that you don't look, walk with a little more swagger. Tell me that you don't do that. Tell me, you can't help it. You cannot help it. So my sister, my brother, why aren't you doing that? Why aren't you believing his word. Why aren't you believing that you were created on purpose with a purpose that you are fearfully and wonderfully made? Why aren't you believing that? Yes, God confidence. I call it God, um, God centric confidence. That's what I call it. God centric confidence. That's very different from self confidence. Very different from thinking that I am all that in a bag of chips. And if I am, it's only in Him because that he created me. When I put that, that filter, the Jesus filter, then I am all that in a bag of chips. Without that filter, without Jesus first, I am not all that. I am not all kinds of fine. But when I put on the new man, when I put on that persona and knowing that I'm fearful and wonderful made and that I am worth dying for, then I am all kinds of fine. Does that make a difference? Does that make sense? Do, do you see now where I'm coming from when I'm telling you that you have to be beautiful on the inside first? And then what happens is the most beautiful news ever. 
the most beautiful news ever. Type it three if you're ready for this news. This news is going to transform how you feel about it. Awesome, real faith for sure. <clears throat> Tell me, are you ready for this, for this beautiful news? What happens when you're beautiful on the inside? Type it three if you're ready. Thank you, Susie. You're always so awesome, always the first one. Thank you so much. When you are beautiful on the inside, and I saw this happen today, and it happens every time I see it. When you are beautiful on the inside, you transform immediately into the most beautiful person you have ever been, the most beautiful version of yourself. I seen this time and time again. When you are beautiful on the inside, you are the most beautiful, the most pure version of yourself because your soul, it's what it's you. You are not your body. You are not your legs. You are not your hair. You are your soul. So if you have a clean, beautiful soul, you are the most beautiful version of yourself. How awesome is that? I want you to just take that in for a second, just for one second. Doesn't that feel amazing? When you take care of the inside, when you put in the word of God on the inside of you, and he changes you from the inside out, what happens is that your light is turned on. That's what happens. And all of a sudden, you're like better looking. Have you ever seen that? When you love someone and you see how amazing they are, how kind and wonderful and loving and giving they are, don't they become better looking to your eyes? Has that ever happened to you? <coughs> Excuse me. Has that ever happened to you? That with time, when you get to know someone, you see how beautiful they are. Really, their beauty, their inner beauty comes out. Their inner beauty comes out and what is left is this amazing, amazing awesomeness. Hey, oh, uh, Odera, how are you? Nice to see you. Hey, Len. Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming back. When you let your real beauty, which is from the inside, come out, you become the most beautiful version of yourself. And that's what's really counts. That's what really, really counts. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. It's it's really um, great news. It's, it's encouraging to know. And that's something that I'm working on for my TEDx talk. Um, and I have to obviously condense that because I can only talk for 10 minutes, which is really, really hard for me, like almost impossible. But it's coming up. I am trimming it. I am working on that. And I'm going to leave this up for 24 hours. After that, I am going to make it private because I need to make it work on that. Oh, thank you, my sister. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think I have the link. Um, I have it on Twitter. I have it on Twitter on, in uh, Instagram. <clears throat> thank you so much. I love it, too. Uh, I thought it was perfect and fitting for um, going to the museum today. It was totally awesome. Had an amazing time. Hey, Agape Mimi, thank you for being here. You're going to have to watch the replay because we just had almost an hour of sharing what real beauty is. And we talked about beauty from the inside out. And I am practicing and sharing uh, what I'm working on for my TEDx talk. <clears throat> it's coming up in a few in a few weeks, actually. Um, less than two months so um, not that much time to prepare when you take in my schedule how crazy it is but I will get it done thank you so much I'm very excited about that and um, <clears throat> I'm just I'm coming out I'm coming out with it I'm gonna share what I have been given I'm, I'm taking some great notes while I was on vacation and today as I was sitting listening to gospel music at the museum it was just awesome um, there is something about people being on purpose, no matter where they are. And to be honest, I was really thinking about how am I going to be myself at this event? How am I going to edit who I am? And I realized today more so than ever that I cannot edit who I am. This is who I am. I am a woman of faith. I am a woman of God. 
I am a fashion stylist, I am a confidence building coach, and I am those three things at the same time. I cannot be, I cannot function if I'm not those three things at the same time. When I try to not be those three things at the same time, it doesn't work. It doesn't flow. When I'm not those three things at the same time, I am not the woman that I was created to be. That's right. Right. That's right. Are we not in? Yes, absolutely. And sometimes you have to ask yourself, am I leaving my faith-based version of me out because I'm worried about what they're going to say? I mean, I was at a secular place. These people were doing um, um, <clears throat> like a, a going back in time and a going back to, to the to the Civil War's time and talking about slavery and they did that through music and they use gospel music and they share that in such a beautiful, unapologetic way and it was beautiful to see. And I was just yet again reminded that it doesn't matter where I am, I need to be a woman of God, I need to be a fashion stylist and I need to be a confidence building coach in that order those three things always no matter where i go no matter who's listening no matter who's watching no matter what what may happen negative or positive i need to be those three things all the time and when i do that the holy spirit shows up when i do that i'm more comfortable when i do that people are blessed when i do that i am being obedient to what i have been called to do and that's always a good thing that is always a very good thing being on purpose doing what I have been created to do and being the woman that I know I'm supposed to be. And that's just a beautiful thing. And I'm just being honest. I'm just telling you what's happening, what I'm doing. And it's sometimes you need a reminder. Sometimes you need to be reminded to be yourself holy, holy, whatever that is. Don't leave any part out. Don't edit anything out because of what people might say or might think. Just be who you are anywhere you go and watch the blessings and watch God take care of you in a beautiful way. So please remember to be beautiful from the inside out, to trust what I shared today with you. If you just got here, watch the replay. Psalms 139 is going to change your life. It's really going to help you um, to be beautiful the right way, the real way, the way that really matters, the way that it really matters. Beauty is not a skin deep. Beauty comes from the soul. And if your soul is taken care of, if your soul is cleaned out of all the gunk and the lies and the whatever, what God says, exactly, exactly. When your soul is exactly where it needs to be, you are going to be beautiful. And you're going to be all kinds of fine the way that it matters, the way that it really matters from the inside out. Remember, whenever you are, you are representing your father. You are about your father's business. And that means you have to look all kinds of fine. And you have to, if you don't know how to do it, you can work with someone like me. You can go online. You can check my videos. You can read my books. You can get them both on my website. Um, you can write to me. Um, you can watch movies. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do if you don't know how to represent your father well. All I'm telling you is why you must do it. How you do it, it's, it's up to you. There are many different options for you to do, but you have to do it because you are about your father's business. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. You are anywhere you go. You are about your father's business anywhere you go. And you never know when you're going to be called to the front. You never know what opportunities you may have just because you're there. And you don't want that one time that you're called that you don't look the part. You don't want that one time to come and you don't look all kinds of fine. May your life be about inner beauty that reflects from the inside out and for for you to be on purpose all the time. Yes, show up ready to shine for sure every single time because you never know. Every single time you need to show up that way as my legs fall asleep. Ouch, I was sitting on my legs. Never good. Never, never good. Ah, that's not good. I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm getting old. 
as I'm trying to get my legs off from under me. Okay. So remember, you are always on a mission. You are always um, about your father's business. Even if, yes, even if nothing happens when people are watching, for sure. Because my mother used to say, and it's so true, that some somebody is always looking at you. She said that all the time. And as a child, I didn't think, I thought she was crazy. But now that I'm an adult, now I know that it's true. Someone is always watching what you're doing. And someone sometimes is watching to see long term. Okay? Because what people do is they look good sometimes. On Sundays, on their birthday, when they're going to a party. But then every day is a hot mess. Every day. Every day is a hot mess. Um, but what if you, you look good all the time? What if you act right the whole time? What if... Yeah, that's true. What if... Um, you represent your father well. And then someone says, you know what? I see consistency. I see dedication. I see focus. I'm going to tap her on her shoulder. I'm going to tap him on his shoulder. And I'm going to say, hey, I, what about this opportunity? I've been watching you for a while, actually. And I think you're amazing. I love the way you carry yourself. I love the way you represent yourself. And I've just been thinking about this. You know, that actually happens. That happens more than you would know because I have gotten speaking engagements because of Periscope, because the way I show up here. You know that? Did you know that? I The way that this TEDx talk came about, I was at a conference and when someone asked if somebody wanted to speak, do you know what I, what I did? I was the first one to raise my hand. I was the first one in my outfit was on point my attitude was on point and I just spoke for a few minutes. But because I felt good, I looked good, I felt confident, I did a really good job. And the person, somebody in the audience that I had no idea, I had no idea, had a connection and he knew about a TEDx talk that was coming up. And what happened? Now we're here and now I, I got selected and now I'm going to have my TEDx talk and that's why I'm, I'm, that's why I am uh, practicing. So you never know who's watching. You never know who's in the audience. You never, never, ever know. Please know that. Be ready. Be available. Be ready be available. Thank you for being here. We have been here for almost an hour. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on the replay, I hope that this has helped you. I hope that it has encouraged you and I hope that it helps you be beautiful from the inside out and um, to dress the part, whether you're going to the store or going to your job, going to a meeting, wherever you're going. Remember, why blend in when you can stand out for your mission and your vision. Have an amazing night and we will see you soon.